Hi, this is Rick Johnson with Turner Johnson Yachts. Uh, I'm here today in, in Holland, Michigan. I'm standing next to a, uh, what we call a mast stub that we would use at boat shows to let people see how the, how the mast is put together. Um, the main advantages to using carbon fiber as a mast making material is it's far lighter. Uh, this tube weighs, on a, for a boat, would weigh about half of what the aluminum mast would weigh, which means the boat's going to heel less, it's going to pitch less, that, that way that sometimes the boats tend to hobby horse uh, when you're going through big waves, and a lot of that's related to how much weight is aloft. If you can cut down the amount of weight, you're going to have a better riding boat that's going to sail faster, that's going to be more comfortable. It's so much stronger that you have a, a much larger margin of safety uh, in conditions that, uh, that, that might take a, a, an aluminum spar down uh, the carbon fiber is, is far more likely to survive. You're going to feel more secure going offshore with a carbon mast than you will with an aluminum mast. And the cost has come way down. Uh, carbon uh, used, to be, used to be the most expensive material you could use. Now it's gotten far more affordable, uh, especially when you've got builders like Tartan and CNC that, are, that have uh, perfected making their masts in-house instead of buying them from a, a mast supplier like Hall Spars or Southern Spars from New Zealand. Um, you, can, you can do this and, and do it at a, at a cost that's not much more than buying an aluminum mast from, a, from an outside supplier. We can make a, a, a mast that's so much stronger and safer, going to give you a better performance, a better ride, and, and at a cost that's, that's right in line with what you would pay for, for the same boat from another manufacturer with an aluminum mast. This is Rick Johnson with Turner Johnson Yachts in Holland. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you again soon.